friends welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here my name is Melissa or Missa welcome today I'm going to be doing this red monochromatic look I just went all out red I am scared of red on the eyes lips great on the eyes it scares me I wasn't actually sure where this video was going we started doing something it kind of changed kind of morphed and this is the look that we ended up with so we're gonna do the whole face we're gonna play it with my Jaclyn Hill volume 2 and um, a bunch of other favorite products and just yeah get red redded up so if you want to see me go from a goblin to slightly less goblin-y then please just do keep on watching <laughs> let's begin this this, this, this is my face. Look, I've got Christmas, Christmas things that, Christmas festival. That's as much as I'm gonna do for Christmas. I already tried something on the side and then wiped it off. It's why I look like I've got pink eye like Matty has 24 seven. So we're just gonna yeah, ignore that. I don't have pink eye. Nobody farted on my pillow, I don't think. I'm going to pop my Revlon concealer on. I mean, this might be a disaster because whenever I do both my eyes on camera, it always is. But I know some of you really like when I just kind of play and put makeup on both eyes at the same time. So hopefully this will tickle your pickles on this. What day is it? Friday the 27th of November, Black Friday. I am being a good person. <coughs> And I am ignoring Black Friday until I've got all my family Christmas presents. And to be honest, I kind of do. <laughs> I think I actually have everyone. I think I've got all my presents. Like some of them are still to arrive, but I think I've got all my presents. And then I just need to take cash out the cash machine for some of the other presents because when you've got nieces and nephews and you don't know what to get them, cash is always a winner. I know it's not very personal, but means they can do whatever they want. Especially for the older ones, like my oldest nephew's 21, my oldest niece is 19, so they both kind of do their own thing, and they both drive, my nephew's got a flat, so giving them money, I feel like, mm, don't do that, is fine. I'm actually gonna begin with a bit of a random product, but I've had it, I've had it, I've totally like had it in my collection for ages, and oh, I've never used it. <laughs> it's a Laura Mercier, Caviar stick. This is in the shade Heat, and because I want to do like a kind of cranberry, sunsetty something or other, you've seen it. I haven't. I thought this could be nice to begin, so I'm just gonna smosh this all over the eyelids. I don't know. I mean, you can probably skip this step, but just because I have it, and the only reason I kept it because I was sent like a parcel of these. Well, not like a full. I got a few of them. When I opened it to look at the colour, I squashed it, putting the lid back on. So I was like, oh, I can't give that to anyone now. So <laughs> that's why I kept it. Usually I don't really keep products like this if I'm sent them. Oh, hooded eyes are honestly the bane of my life. Yeah, I feel so organised for Christmas this year. I don't know what's happened to me. I am going to take, this was a clean brush before I like tried to do my other eye. And I'm just going to like blend this. What is this? Sorry, it's a Crown C511. I'm just gonna say my brushes today. See how you feel about that. How do you like them apples? Saying my brushes. Yeah, so, I mean, my family don't watch my videos, so it's totally fine to discuss what I got them. For my mum and dad, my brother and sister-in-law, and my sister, I got them all photo books on this site called Snapfish. They had this amazing deal. It was like I think it was fifty percent off on like photo album books that you just like obviously upload your photos to. So they were like really a good price. And um, so I got them all one of them and then I got mum and dad a huge thing of Ferrero Rochers because they absolutely love them. Um we tend to spend more on the kids in my family and the adults just get like a little something. And my sister got her the photo book and I also, um, I bought a pair of high heel boots for Christmas last year that I've never worn and they were super duper, super duper expensive. I had a voucher um, and I've never worn them and I know she has her eyes on them because I put them up on my Depop and she's like, whoa, what are you doing? And I want them so I'm going to give them to her as well. 
And then my niece who's 19, I'm gonna give her money in a card and also I've just like put a heap of makeup because she's 19, she likes makeup. Um, right, what are we gonna start off with? And then I'll continue blabbing on. I think I'll take the shade crazy. Did I say I'm gonna use this palette? I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. I've not used it in a while. Uh, the shade crazy, just here. This is on a blank canvas E10 brush. Yeah, she likes makeup, so I tend to always give her stuff anyway, but I feel like that and money is quite a good gift. Then for my nephew, money, and I got him a nice set of bedding because he just got a flat. He just started renting a flat, so I thought, oh, he'll need some nice bedding. I'm just gonna whip this around my crease. By the way, I love this brush. I know Tia really likes it as well. I'll link her channel below. Please go and check her out. Um, then my little nieces, I don't know, maybe they will watch this. Like, I know they sometimes watch. I got them all a present, like an openable present, which is quite nice. And money in a card as well. And then for my brother, the photographer, I made up a photo book as well, the same one. But of all the photos that he's taken that are my favourites, um, he he started Beautiful Edinburgh, the photography page on Facebook. <coughs> if you want to check that out, he's incredibly talented. And um, I also got him... What did I get him? Oh, just a funny mug. He likes mugs. Sister-in-law is getting the Glossy Box Advent Calendar and chocolates. Other sister-in-law's getting chocolate. <laughs> it's very easy actually for my family this year. I just, I don't know, like this year seems so much less stressful than, I was gonna say last year, last year was pretty awful because obviously Hamish had just left, but the years before that, I don't know, I was always so stressed at Christmas. So yeah, I feel a bit more kind of calm this year about it. And it is good to kind of get it sorted early if you can. So I've just like spent all of my money basically this month on Christmas presents and my bills. So I don't really have any disposable income for Black Friday anyway. So, but anyway, at least bills are paid and my Christmas shopping's done. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about that. To take it higher on these outer corners because I've spent seven minutes on this already and I've put one shade on. I'm really sorry. I'm not very good at telling stories and doing makeup at the same time because I'll tell an entire story while patting out my foundation and that'll be 30 minutes. <laughs> and I've been meaning to use this palette again. So here we are. Then I'm gonna grab the shade Dance Party because I want to make it more kind of sunsetty. I'm gonna bring in pink and then I can bring in the orange and yellow in my opinion. This is my blank canvas E87, one of my most used, most favourite brushes. In fact, I'm just thinking of blank canvas or having a Black Friday sale, I could be very tempted. I might actually have a look. Just get a couple more E87s and then I'd be happy. I really like this dance party shade, it's like a raspberry pink, it's just so beautiful. And I don't want this eye look to be massive. I want to keep this just quite close to my eyes. I mean, you know me. We'll end up with eyeshadow up here. Probably here. So has anyone else, like, done all or at least the vast majority of their Christmas shopping? Or is there anyone sitting there like, I haven't even started yet. That's usually me. Trust me. I don't know, I guess it's less, I feel like it's less stress this year because I'm only buying for like my family like I don't have an ex like uh in-laws to buy for so it's maybe I've just got you know a little bit more money to spend because I'm not buying for so many people and then the people that I do buy for can get something a little bit nicer but then in my family Christmas isn't really about presents obviously because I've got a very Christian family so it's definitely more just about family and love and joy but we like to spoil the kids I'm gonna take the shade my man my man. I just watched American Gangster the other day. Makes me think of Denzel, one of the greatest actors of a generation, if you ask me. I was trying to, I was thinking in my head the other night, what are, who are like my favorite actors? Jack Nicholson, obviously. I mean like for talent. 
Jack Nicholson, Tom Hanks, Anthony Hopkins. Who else? Now I can't think because I'm trying to come up with a list. I will say all my favourite actors are men. Michael Fassbender. <laughs> He's mine. Hands off. I mean, German, Irish, can you get any more beautiful? I already feel like I'm taking this too high. Stop, Melissa. Stop. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Oh, I need to wash my brushes, so I don't have that many options. I'm going to take No Joke, which is the yeller. So it's a Jaclyn Hill brush. It is the JH35. Look at that. This will go round the edge. I'm going to obviously go back in with all my shades. What else has been going on? Obviously we've heard from the great leader of our nation, Nicola Sturgeon, that we can have like Christmas with our families but I think it's three households in my house like in my immediate family there's uh, six households <laughs> so I don't know what's gonna happen but a lot of people like my brothers and sisters are married and stuff so they might be with the in-laws so maybe it'll be like me my mum and dad and then probably my sister and her family hopefully the other ones will go to their in-laws <laughs> So I'm not sitting here, my Todd. Wrap it round. Okay, okay. So I'm thinking for the lid, my lovely friend Becky, I'll link her Instagram below, but she sent me this kimchi pot de creme. Super, cr superb cream eyeshadow. <laughs> this is the shade, cranberry. And I thought this could be a good, ooh, a good shout for the lid. And maybe go in top in on top with the shade Empowered from the palette because I'm thinking I would quite like to do like a metallic lid. And well, let's try this all over the lid. And it might just be a nice base. Oh my gosh, that is pigmented by the way. I wonder if you could put this on your lips. I mean, you can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna use a uh, lip liner as an eyeliner, so whatever, do what you want. If you go blind though, don't blame me. Look at that! Mm. I'll get a little flat brush. Let's see if I can smooth it in a bit. That is an intensely lovely color. <clears throat> Where's my voice going? It's early morning. I've got things to do today, so I'm trying to get this done early. That is pretty much the colour I was actually wanting. So, find Becky. She also sent me actually this gorgeous Ciate one. I'm thinking it's too, it's got too much green shift in it. Whereas this isn't like a multi-chrome, this is just like sparkly cranberry red. Oh, I never use these colours. I always get asked to do red looks. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go back in with all my shades and just work on that. Does this palette have a red? Yeah, do you know what? I might add the shade Heart on this one here. Maybe even living my best. Oh, I'm scared because reds really scare me, but we'll try it. I'll take my Morphe M456 and the shade, I'm just gonna take living my best. An actual red eyeshadow, who am I? I might just like pop this through the crease. This is just, I mean, I did tell you I'm not good at putting makeup on without kind of doing one eye first and really seeing where I'm going with it. So please don't get mad at me. I'm sure you won't, but I don't know why red on the eyes is so scary. Probably cause like red eyes is never a good sign health wise. <laughs> probably what I associate it with. Oh, I can't imagine you're very healthy if you've got silvery, glittery eyelids either, but 
Oh, so I said in a recent video I would fill you in on my Tinder travels. So I'm going to fill you in. So I had that first date with that lovely man. I was going to say boy, but he's a man. He's a man. That was lovely. We went to the Wallace Monument and things like that. Anyway, I had the second date the other day. I cooked for him. He is an Englishman. He's from Liverpool. So I made him, of course, haggis, neeps and tatties. A, super easy to cook. I know how to cook potatoes. I know how to cook neeps. And haggis is just easy. You can do anything, but easy, easy enough, microwave it. And good job, he loves haggis, neeps and tatties. <laughs> and I made chocolate brownies and ice cream for pudding. Who am I? I am like a perfect 1950s housewife. Yay! I orange. I'm gonna go back to my main. My main. And then we watched movies, farted around, played cards, had a lovely time. And then the next day, we went out for dinner. I was treating him to dinner, and I forgot my purse, so he treated me to dinner. <laughs> so bad I felt awful um, and then we went on a nice walk and then we watched movies and farted about don't want to speak too soon but I'm probably gonna marry him just so y'all know <laughs> nah he's really nice he is very very nice and I think he will agree to come on camera to be honest he's that kind of guy very chilled laid back easy ozy I'm gonna grab more no joke, I don't know what brush I used, so I'm now using this one, which is a Colourpop E22. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes, but well, I think I can convince him to do my makeup on camera and uh, ask him like how much how much he thinks it is. I was asking him the other day. I had a Jeffree Star lipstick on and I was like, how much do you think this cost? And he's like, well, it's Jeffree Star. I think he's famous, so top end for a lipstick, nine pounds. I was like, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna have to ask you how much things are. Like, the color on my lid is really pretty and I like it a lot. I know I need to work on my blending, by the way. I'll probably quickly continue that as I put my base on. I feel like the colour on the lid is maybe, I don't know, I want to try going over with this empowered shade. Because that's, I feel like that's more red. Yes. Do you see the difference? Yeah, I feel like that's a good decision. And then that kimchi is just a base for this, but you could also just skip that step. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm preferring that. I feel like it's it's darker and it's more red. And I just kind of want to commit to this. If I'm using reds, I just want to be using reds on my eyes. Like, that is a stunning shade. I like it. Okay, I'm just going to silently blend in my crease for a few minutes and then we'll come back and we'll move on to base. And I can continue watching. My favourite, one of my favourites, I've got many favourite channels, Beauty News. Nope, hold up. Beauty News, they're great. Give me a moment. The existing shade. So the existing shade. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna use a lip liner as an eyeliner. So I'm taking my MUA Intense Color Lip Liner in the shade Heartbreaker, which is just like a burgundy. And I just think it's gonna be perfect. I don't really wanna put like a true red on. I don't know, I think that might be a bit too weird. Um, so we'll try this. It doesn't like irritate my eyes or anything. I use lip liners as eyeliners quite often but please don't do what I do you know 
It makes my eyes look very blue. Okay, so let's moisturize. I'm gonna use my favorite Ameliorate. This is the Intensive Skin Therapy. This one is almost run out. I love it so much. I have backups. It's a very thick, very, very moisturizing moisturizer. <laughs> um, the most intense one I've got. And I really love it. It is wunderbar. Smells nice, just smells posh. Feels nice. I wear this every single day. Ooh. I feel like I need to make my under eye shadow more red to match that, but we'll get to that. And then just like pack it on top. Because that's looking a bit purple, isn't it, compared to that. But we'll make it work. Don't you worry? Don't worry. Then I want a nice glowy primer. Mm, what will I use? I'll use my NYX High Glass. Really enjoy this one. This is in the shade by the way Moonbeam. I think it's the lightest one. And it's literally just like a liquid glow. You could probably even use this as a highlighter to be honest. But I just use it underneath my makeup. Very pretty and it tends to sit under like all my foundations really nice. You know me, I don't put it on my forehead. That's where my wrinkles are. Anyone want to start a GoFundMe for Botox? That'd be great. I remember reading an article not that long ago about Botox being used to treat depression. I need to look into that because I've got the depression. Need the Botox, imagine I could get it on the NHS. I know some people do for migraines, but thankfully my migraines have stopped um, since I got moved on to a different pill. I went in, I was like, yeah, my migraines are just, they're off the charts. I'm like, literally, like, I, I feel like I'm dying. And they were like, oh, you're probably gonna have a stroke. We're gonna change your pill. And I was like, let's, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna let that sink in and go wet my sponge, because I'm never prepared. I'm gonna use a favorite foundation. This is my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I love it so much. This is in the shade Yukon. This matches me the best out of all my foundations. And because I'm wearing like a, well, it's actually a, like underwear bodysuit, but I just wear it as a top because of Rosie. Um, she has a channel like her below as well. I uh, want to like really match, so I'm just gonna take three pumps, which is actually one pump more than I meant to. I just get excited and smoosh this on. It's just wonderful stuff. I adore the new one though. Oh my goodness. I need to buy it in the next shade up because I feel like my one is slightly too pale. It's definitely too pale actually. Like whenever I take photos with it, it, it really shows like that it is too pale for me. So I might actually sell that one, which I've, I don't know, I'll probably keep it, let's be honest. I've used it quite a few times <laughs> and just yeah, pick up another one. Maybe they've got money off of it in Boots right now for Black Friday. Uh, but it's just so beautiful. I'm talking about the matte one, by the way. I've used it in a couple of videos. I really wish I could remember who made me buy this. Because someone, I would have watched someone or heard someone talk about it and then bit the bullet and bought it. Because it's rare for me to just splurge money on a high-end foundation. I know I have quite a few, but like it does take me time to to buy them. I put a lot of thought into like spending 30 quid on a foundation, my goodness. It's not a decision that I just make. So I definitely could use more and get fuller coverage, but I'm gonna go in with a lot of cream products and stuff, so my skin's gonna look excellent. <laughs> I'm gonna use, I moved all my drawers around. Like if you saw my latest, my recent video where I like showed around my beauty room, I like moved my drawers, so I'm still getting confused. This is Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in Medium Bisque is the shade I use. I'm gonna cream contour with this and because it's a concealer, it's gonna give me a little bit of coverage. Not that I really need that around the perimeter of my face, which is because I didn't pack on the foundation. So this will help. I always cream contour before I do concealer because then if you make any mistakes, you can rectify it, you know? What is this, a color pop? F31 brush, let's use this to blend this in. This isn't like the best, coolest tone for me. I do have another Ellie Girl 
as in fawn. It's maybe a bit more cool tone, but I kind of want to go for the more warm complexion today. I feel like because I'm doing the red eyes, I shouldn't have like a super cool complexion. I think it could look very, very ill. So I want to look quite like tanned and healthy for this eyeshadow color. Okay. And then for concealer, I don't feel like, yeah, I'll use my lovely collection Lasting Perfection. I really like this. This is in the shade three. So I will say their shade range is much better because this is still really pale and it's shade three. It's actually a really nice concealer. It's really cheap. Bish bash bosh. I'm just gonna use like a mixture of high end and drugstore today. I was thinking in my head, I was like, okay, Melissa, pick, pick everything drugstore. But it's just sometimes I love doing just like full drugstore. Other times I love doing full high end. But most of the time, I mix everything. You know, I'll use a forty pound ABH foundation and then like a two pound concealer. Why not? If it works, it works. I'm gonna take my Primark bronzer. This is on a big fluffy Morphe brush, doesn't have a name. I got it in a set a long time ago. And like I said, I wanna be warm. And, and you know, kind of bronze. This is so beautiful. I think Primark's gonna be open for you people in England again very soon, isn't it? Um, it will be open in maybe some parts of Scotland, but like Stirling is the place I live closest to for shopping, which has a Primark, DK Maxx, like all the big shops, Zara, H&M, all of it. Uh, and I think that is all shut down at the moment because Stirling's in tier three. Where I am, or is Stirling in tier four? Yeah, Stirling's in tier four because I'm in tier three. And I'm very close to Sterling. But over the bridge of my nose, I might do my faux freckles today. I think I was speaking, telling you guys I had a weird heart in a recent video. It's something that I've had for years and years and years, like an irregular heartbeat, but it just happens every so often, like it's not constant. It's like maybe once a week or twice a week, my heart like stops, like literally stops for a few seconds and then it starts again and it goes bananas and it happens a few times and then it settles down and it doesn't happen for like a week or two. But um, last week, I had five days in a row where my heart was going utterly bananas, constantly, constantly. So I got a doctor's appointment and I was actually able to go in, which was amazing. I've not been able to see a doctor since I moved here. So I had a doctor's appointment and took bloods and all that. And she said she would send me to the hospital for an EKG and I already have my appointment. 9th of December. I can't believe how fast that was. I really hope it doesn't get cancelled. Uh, I'm going to take Benefit WhatsApp. Yeah, I really hope it doesn't get cancelled. That's just like two weeks away now. I'm just so impressed by the speed of it all. The doctor reckons I'm probably just deficient in something and um, she said especially because I've like um lost some weight she said you know maybe I'm just deficient in some something so hopefully that's all it is and it'll settle down but I've also got, got to wear one of those machines for 24 hours that like it's attached to your body and it monitors your heart rate constantly and then you give that back to the doctor and they like look at it and I think that will help more because my heart generally tends to go bananas now at night time. Like when I'm lying in bed watching movies or editing videos, my heart goes bananas. So I'm hoping that they'll actually be able to see it on that like 24 hour recorded machine rather than me just saying, well, it's not happening right now. We are gonna take a blush. Peach, I agree, peach, yeah, peach. My gorgeous Maybelline one. I was gonna maybe use my like Fenty or Lime Cream, but this one is much cheaper and just as nice to be honest. This is a ColourPop F30. 
pop this on. Cream products just make my dreams come true. Do you not just think my skin looks just so much better than when I cake like Maybelline Super Stay On and then powder it and then put heaps of concealer, you know? I just think it looks so much better. Right, full freckles. I've got my beloved Colourpop freckle pen. This is in soft brown. I don't want to go bananas with the full freckles. Maybe just like have them as a bit of like a kind of feature. My Tinder date said, I thought when I saw pictures of you with freckles, it was like a a Snapchat filter. But nah, man. Colourpop freckle pen. <laughs> over with my sponge. Do you remember that first time I did freckles? I need to try and find that clip and put it in here because it was an utter disaster. It was hilarious. So bad. This freckle pen is just great. I would highly recommend the Colourpop freckle pen if you are wanting to do full freckles. I take them right into like that eye bag area because I feel like, you know, freckles wouldn't discriminate if they were real on me. They would go into my eye bag area. I have some freckles. That's a natural one. Let's put more on. That's a natural one. I'm going to put a little bit of powder underneath my eyes. Where to be me pooders? Oh, let's use Makeup Obsession Pure Bake in Lace. Yeah, I threw away the cover on it because I was just always so annoyed having to like try and open this. I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow brush and just sit under here. It's just where I crease the most. This is a lovely setting powder. I just honestly feel like every time I like use less powder I want Robert to send me a gold star in the post and tell me that he's proud of me. That's sad. Put it in my nose crevice slightly over the top as well. Before I finish off the eyes, I'm gonna take, what will I take? I'll take my Fenty. This is in Inda Sun. I used this yesterday as my bronzer and I thought, mm, I can see why you like it. But they are incredibly hard to open. I also have to get my little like depotting tool and try and do it. Why is it so difficult? Were you scared of gonna break it there? Because I was. This is my beloved Jaclyn Hill JH06. I like this bronze, it's very much like um what's she called? Benefit Hula Light. I just thought I would use this one today. For contour, because I don't want to go in with anything cool toned, I'm gonna to take Hula, like actual Hula, on my blank canvas F15. And just use a tiny smidge, because this is too warm for me as a contour. But it's gonna kind of give the effect. A lot of people can use this as a contour, of course, just for me, it's more of a like dark bronzer. That's it, that's all I'm going to do bronze wise. Then for blush, let's keep this party going. We will use, I don't know, I haven't decided. Rimmel Maxi Blush 004 Sweet Cheeks. This is very pretty. Very pretty. Finally started watching The Crown. Apparently I started watching it a while ago because I was apparently, apparently up to episode eight, but I've started re-watching it. Got up to episode four last night. I really just want to get to the newer season that's got Gillian Anderson in it and the Princess Diana storyline. I know it's not all true, but I love Gillian Anderson with my whole entire heart. She is one of my favorite actresses. I love The X-Files. It's one of my favorite TV shows of all time, it's just, I don't know, it brings me back to a happy time. So yeah, I just, I love her so much. I'm gonna take my Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme in Sandstone Shimmer, which is to me very similar to Benefit Cookie, if you wanna know. Beautiful. I 
can still see my benefit what's up so this will just be a nice accoutrement to that oh is that all the steps done is it just eyes now let's well we'll use the setting spray because i am going out and about i'm gonna have a mask on i'm gonna wear my milani make it last because if I put on a super glowy spray over this unset super gorgeous base, it could be that, uh, sorry, my phone, um, that it does come off more. So this is like super glue. Okay, let's finish off these eyes because I'm not, I don't actually like them at all right now. Uh, so we're gonna try and make it, but I'll do my brows first and then we'll do the eyes. And then the lip. I'm very happy with my base. My battery's about to run out, sorry. Like. I'm happy, right? I've decided I'm just gonna go for it. I'm actually gonna take MUA Fancy Lip Liner, which is a brighter red. Pop this on the waterline, why not? I've already like done this under eye. I'm just playing. Brows are on. Pure red in the waterline. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH38 and more of that shade. Living my best, which is the pure red. Scary times. But more for fallout, to be honest. And I'm patting because I am just terrified of the fallout. Be entirely honest. I mean, this is a red look, and then I'll grab my man, which is the orange, just in that same brush. Sorry, I can't see it any other way because of Denzel. And then I'll grab, no joke, which is the yellow on the same brush. Usually, I would rub it on my pajama bottoms, but I've got nice trousers well, not nice trousers, but I've got trousers on that I don't want to eyeshadow on preferably okay and then on the inner corner i took my makeup geek pencil brush and the shade i'm in it which is like a kind of pearlescent pink i'll spray it with my milani that's sitting here and just pop that on i thought about maybe gold but i don't know I think I'm happy with that choice. Am I? Maybe I will put gold on. I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to grab the gold from the palette. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. We'll deal with it. This is the shade Talia. Yeah, I think that's maybe the right decision rather than that pink. Let's throw a lash on and then we'll... I think the li the lips have to be nude, right? I mean, I could, of course, put a red on. But I'm not really feeling a red for the lips. In fact, I've got some lashes out here that I was wearing yesterday. These are my Sosu lashes, which I get in Primark. These are the Style Dubai, and I just really like them. Lash glue straight on the eye. It's just the best way to put lashes on. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Simple as that, that's that lash on. Yeah, I think that helps with the look quite a lot. I do not love this eye look, but I'm hoping that when I get my like lip on and stuff, like I'll feel it a bit more. So my name is Melissa and I can be indecisive. I'm thinking we should just say Fuck it and go red. This is the L'Oreal in the shade I don't. 113. I don't know if it's gonna work. But we can try. 
Let's just see. This is the red monochromatic look. Ah. Oh yeah, this formula is so beautiful by the way. It's so lush. I'm so bad at putting lipstick on. Okay, I'll clean it up. Maybe brush my hair. I mean, I did brush my hair. <laughs> did it up in a wee pony, didn't I? Ah. Sort this out anyway. And then we'll be done. I mean, whatever. Makeup is makeup. This is going to wash right off. Very happy with my skin. Anyway, we'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm finished. Hair in a bun, whatever. This is my red monochromatic look. I already want to refill it and do a better job. I don't know what I'm going to do. I probably will refill like straight after this, like wipe this off and start again and just see what 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 iteration I like better. But yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, I'm fine. I, I just feel like maybe all matte would have been where it's at and I don't know. But overall, very happy. I love that Jaclyn Hill palette. I love all the products that I use basically. No, I love them all. So yeah, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out three videos a week. It takes a lot of work. A wee subscribe doesn't doesn't hurt. And yeah, I'm going to piss off. Have a lovely day, whatever it is you're doing. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.